Good day, everyone. My name is Falola Biola Eyanolua. I graduated from the University of Ibadan in the year 2019-2020. My BCN number is 9614. I'm absolutely thrilled to share my excitement about this great premium program. It's such a fantastic opportunity to support innovation and creativity in the veterinary field. Through this great premium program, we have the chance to revolutionize our pets are being cared for. Imagine pet owners having access to cutting hedge treatments, improved diagnostics, and innovative healthcare solutions for their furry companions. This not only gives the owner peace of mind and joy, but also enhances the well-being of their pets. It's incredibly exciting to think about the positive changes we can make together in the lives of pets and their owners. One significant gap I've observed in veterinary services is accessibility, particularly in underserved or rural areas where there may be fewer veterinary clinics available. This lack of access can lead to several challenges such as undiagnosed and untreated illnesses, which leads to animal suffering and pain, zoonotic disease transmission, reduced productivity of animals, and Infectious disease transmission amongst animals, which poses a risk to animal health and human health. That is why I has a vet. I am deeply committed to promote animal health, welfare, and public health. It is my sense of duty to alleviate animal pain, prevent disease transmission, and ensure the well-being of animals and human health. It is also my responsibility to raise awareness about the importance of veterinary services and to advocate for improved access to care for all animals, regardless of their socioeconomic status or geographical location. By leveraging on the resources provided by the Vet Premium Program, I have the chance I can make significant strides by improving animal health care in my community through improved infrastructure and expanding my services to meet the needs of both pets and livestock which is a growing population of it in my community. This will ultimately enhance the well-being of animals and also strengthen the bond between pets and their homes. The market of community harvest saving is here in Lagos State, Ikorodu, Igbogo local government to be precise. And the primary animal health issues often encountered in my community include infectious diseases spread by parasites such as fleas and ticks, malnutrition, lack of access to veterinary care, reproductive health problems, and injuries from accidents or fire. The veterinary services lacking in my community often include lack of access to improved diagnostic, emergency services, surgery, and comprehensive preventive care such as routine vaccinations and deworming. Oftentimes, I've discovered some clients have a belief that vaccinations can only be given to their dogs when they are sick or when they are adults. And the woman can only be given to their dogs just once in a lifetime. What happens to such pets? Definitely such pets will be predisposed to several kinds of diseases, infectious diseases, and then predispose the dog to unnecessary pain and suffering. That is why I am the best fit to tackle animal health issues in my community because of my ability to, to adapt to different environments and my commitment to serving all animals irrespective of their location. And also my expertise in veterinary medicine equips me to provide essential care, preventive measures, and the treatment they require to live a healthy and fulfilling life. The specialized skills or interests that suit the market here include expertise in emergency care, preventive medicine, public health, and surgery. Additionally, skills in communication, community outreach, and education plays a crucial role in addressing certain issues or challenges in my community. Also, a great interest in cultural sensitivity and understanding the specific needs of the local population is also of great importance. The main thing the ground would fund include equipment and supplies needed to operate veterinary business efficiently, start up for initial inventory for the pet mat section, innovative technologies that improve veterinary care delivery, such as digital record keeping systems and diagnostic tools. 
community outreach and marketing to raise awareness of veterinary services and engage with some underserved areas in my community. By investing in equipment and supplies, which includes essential tools and facilities required for diagnosis, treatment, and surgery. I'm also leveraging technology to overcome geographical barriers, enhance communication, and streamline processes. By investing in community outreach and marketing, these are essential tools for fostering meaningful connections with the community, addressing specific needs, and promoting preventive care and responsible pet ownership in my community. I've chosen to allocate the vet premium grant funds in this way because I recognize the diverse needs and challenges within my community. By strategically investing in these areas, I'm creating a supportive environment that enables me to thrive, innovate, and make a positive impact on animal health and welfare. With the vet premium grant funds, initially, I could focus on providing basic short-term veterinary services that address immediate needs within my community. The, these veterinary services include wellness clinics, neuter or spay clinics, basic medical care, emergency care services, dental care, nutritional counseling, and behavioral consultation. By providing these basic short-term veterinary services, I can project a significant growth within a year. Within two to three years, my priorities can scale in several ways, building upon the foundation established with the VET Premier Grant Funds and the initial growth achieved in the first year. Yes, how I might envision scaling my priorities, increased revenue, expanded service offerings, enhanced reputation and trust, increased capacity and partnerships, mobile clinics and satellite locations, then increased in community um, community partnerships and engagements. Success in the veterinary practice extends beyond financial metrics and encompasses various aspects that contribute to the well-being of the practice, its clients and the community as a whole. Here are some key indicators to measure success beyond financials. Client satisfaction through positive feedback and testimonies, improved patient health outcomes, community impact by contributing to the overall health and welfare of animals within my community, professional reputation and recognition for excellence in veterinary care. Becoming a vet premium offers numerous compelling reasons for me to pursue entrepreneurship within the veterinary field. And my reasons for pursuing this include the great passion I have for animals and my ability to adopt the following, which are impactful work-life balance, personal and professional growth, holistic approach to veterinary care, business ownership and adaptability to market needs. Thank you very much. You can reach me via um, my email address, which is palolabiola at gmail.com. Thank you.